You wait for being big on clamping down on political statements. Um, what have you thought of your knowledge of Spain, um, Pep wearing the yellow ribbon about Catalonia? No, I, I think... I think that... I think that our political, our political ideology and our political beliefs is something that we have the right to have. We are normal citizens like everybody else in, in our countries and everybody else in our worlds. I know Pep for many years. I know, or I think I know, what Pep feels about this country. To have it in football, I don't know the rules. If the rules allow us to do that, he is a free citizen to do it. But I am not sure if the rules allow us to have any political message on the pitch. That's just my that's just my, my doubts. But I, I I know Pep and I know I know his feelings like everybody else knows because it's public about this country. Would you never do a similar thing, Jose? I think I wouldn't be allowed to do. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. just what I think. Do you think it's a case of, of him being treated differently then in that respect? Yeah, questions about the game. Without Paul Pogba, there's a perception that without Paul in the side, you may be set up a bit more defensively, a little less attacking, even though you're at home. Is that a fair I'm assumption? Not going to, I'm not going to tell you. You know, I think you all want to know how we we are going to play. I think uh, every people connected with football professionally or just as a fan, there is that that question: Who do we play? Who is going to play? Um, how are we going to try to play? I'm not going to, 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 to tell. Even the players, they, they don't know who is going to play. We are working on principles. We are working on, on principles of play. I want every player to be connected with it and ready to it. And with the problems we have with, with, with some players' absences, it's important that other players are ready to, to to play or or at least to be on the bench and come on and to have different roles than they are used to have it so the work was much more global than the specificity of um, the 11 players that are going to start being at home and eight points down jose do you think you're under more pressure <coughs> to be the team that wins i, I, I don't feel it. i don't know them uh, i speak about us i don't want us to feel any kind of pressure I want us to to feel it as a match, like we are going to have another one two days later against Bournemouth. We want to win. We want to to play well. We are going to try, and let's see the direction of the game. Jose, you mentioned in your program notes a couple of times this season about the need for the fans to get behind the players. Um, is that something I, you felt? I stop with that. I stop with that. I'm not going to write any 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 more word about it. I'm not going to say. Any more word about it? We are paid to to work and to work hard and and to give the best we we can, not to criticize uh, fans. And I'm not going to say any word. Why, why is that, Jose? What, because it's the reality of things. I'm not I'm not paid to come here and to make uh, any comments or to ask something from from the fans. I'm paid to try to give them happiness, which is what I try to do every every day. What have you been most impressed with about City from what you've seen so far this season? Impressive. What, what are you most impressed with about City yeah, so they're far? They're a good team. What, have you got any particular things that impressed you more than other stuff? You know, many things. They defend well, they react well to the moment they lose the, they lose the ball. They have good, good dynamic in, in, in attack. They have uh, creative movements. They have amazing players. They're a fantastic coach. They have lots of good, 
lots of good things. If you ask me one one thing that I don't like a lot, is that they they lose the balance very easily.